Good day class. Today we'll be looking at Syswin 3.4, the software needed to program our Omron PLC. So when you go to your desktop, double click on the Syswin 3.4 icon. It'll open the software. Alright, so if you look at the very top here, you have your file menu bar, followed by your toolbar, right below. And on the left hand side here you have your symbols toolbar. So what I want to show you in this video is how to create a network. So this horizontal line or row is called the network. The network is made up of several columns. Each column could have a contact. On the left hand side here the symbols toolbar you have a symbol for a normally open contact, symbol for a normally closed contact, you have a horizontal line, vertical line, you have a symbol for a coil as well. So as we've done in class already, uh, we'll practice how to actually put a network or put contacts in a network and then try to download it into the PLC. So what we want to start with here is a normally open contact. In order to put a normally open contact, what we can do is while the first column here is is highlighted or black as you can tell if I go on this this next column and click that's where the uh, it'll be highlighted if I were to double click a contact right now it would place a contact here after prompting me for the address for it so if I click here if I click once if I hover around this first column here you can see the contact so if I press this again if I click on it it opens up a window that asks me for the address. So for Omron, the word address for the inputs is word 000. And let's just say that our stop push button is wired to our first input. Our first input is at input 00. So if I click on OK, you'll see the contact on the screen. Now I want to put a second contact here for a start push button. So if I click on this again, Let's just say that the address for our start push button is the second input, which would be input 01. We'd still have to put in the word, word 000, so that's 16-bit word, decimal point 01. Press click again. So now we have a stop push button and start push button. In another video, I'll show you how to actually label these, so you can label them anything you like, so that I'd have stop here and I'd have start up here. But for now, it's just the addresses. In this third column, what I want to do is put a coil. So if you go to the left here, this is a coil which activates an output. Well, we'll use it to activate an output. The word for an output for Omron is 010. And let's just say we want to activate the very first output of the PLC. That output address will be 00. And we press OK. Now what we'd like to do is download it. So if we'd like to download it, if we look at this little telephone icon here, it's for communicating with the PLC. When the phone is closed, it means that there is no communication. So if we'd click on it and the PLC would actually be hooked up at this point here, there would be a communication between the two. And then I'd be able to go to online or online, click on it, connect, and then download program to PLC. Since we're not hooked up to a PLC yet, all we're doing is practicing how to put the uh, contacts in a network. So we won't be going through this procedure here. But if I were to click on download, it would give me an error. The reason it would give me an error is that I do not have a, an end statement here. So I need to add a network. To add a network, I would have to go to the toolbar right up here and there is a symbol there with two contacts that are in parallel and a plus sign. If I were to click on this, it opens up a screen that asks me if I want to add the network above or below the existing network. So I want to add one below the network. And now to add my end function, I'd have to go to the FUN here, which is short for function. If I were to double click it, that opens up a screen as well. I would have to type in END, so after every uh, every page or every program that you want to download, you have to have an end statement. And I just press OK. And now I'd actually be ready to download it as is. We'll be looking at timers and counters in other videos.